All right, welcome back to Diesel Talk with Tony Salas. Well, what am I looking at here? We're looking at a Power Stroke 6.7 liter. I'm gonna focus on this guy right here, which is the crankcase pressure. I guess you can call it the old separator. Pretty much every diesel nowadays has some kind of crankcase pressure system that is sealed, and we're actually filtering. We're gonna filter the oil off of there as best as we can. So what you're gonna see here is we're gonna, first let me use my flashlight here, there's the box right there. This is the driver's side, and we see a crankcase depression valve of some kind to regulate, and then we see a hose going way down there. So let me move, as a matter of fact, a little closer there, so there we can see this tube right here going straight in there. So therefore, that is going towards the intake. That right down there is the intake of the turbo. This is the discharge side of the turbo, the big hole exposed right there. As a matter of fact, let me move this over. This right here is your discharge. This is going to the charge air cooler. This right here is the inlet side going way down there. That's the inlet of the turbo you're gonna see going in there. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this guy right here is now becoming a key main inside him because if you've had a power stroke six, seven, well, one of the key problems we've had with this in the, on the lower end side has been the issues with the oil pans. As a matter of fact, there have been customers complaining, either from repair shops or dealerships, about chronic oil pan leaking. Well, first of all, it's huge labor. Here's the back of the motor. You can see the crank sensor right there. But in this case, what I'm trying to outline is because here's the lower oil pan. This is no fun to do, guys. So those of you who don't know, so this is the upper oil pan, I should say. And this is our lower oil pan. This is the older style one. There's a new stamped steel one. But anyways, that's our oil cooler. And what I'm trying to get across here, even if I look here, you're going to see that uh, you're going to have oil leaks there. So what causes this? Well, if you've been around engines for quite a while, you do understand that crankcase pressure in that engine actually can cause uh, excess pressure, which in turn will cause leaks. You know, sometimes we see rear main seals, but not so much on these or front seal leaks, right? In this case, it seems to be the oil pan. But before you condemn the oil pan, let me get really snuggy with this motor in here. As a matter of fact, let's get right in here. Uh, you're gonna see these two bolts. Let me put my flashlight up here to give you a little bit better lighting. You're gonna see right here these bolts all throughout the motor, okay? These are your mains, okay? These are actually six bolt mains. We got two on each side, so there's another corresponding one on the other side of the motor, and then four holding the top, which would be from the bottom, that is, you know? So in this case, one of the things we saw with Duramax applications was actually leaking our seepage of oil so before you condemn an oil pan leaking right here, uh, you better make sure these bolts are not leaking. Like Duramax years ago, they had a bulletin. And in this case, they just said remove, put a sealer around it, you know, just gunk some sealer around it, you know, like Dura, you know, Permatech stuff, put it back on and torque the specifications. So be aware that these could actually seep. I caught a few that way. We thought it was the oil pan. Nope, it could be also these. I'm not saying that oil pans don't leak, they do leak. But in this case, uh, it could be also the bolt there on the side there. So check them. Obviously, you want to pressure wash or clean the area to make sure where the leak is coming from. But going back to where we started, sorry about the light there, Whoa. is the fact that I'm getting old getting up here. But in this case, you got to make sure we change out this box here. Now, you're going to see the upgraded models have a different color on the collar. So in this case, we have different colors. There's two colors. All I'm saying is that you need to make sure you put the correct one. Now, later model power stroke six sevens right here. Let me leave the flashlight there. We'll actually have a sensor here. So therefore, if you see a sensor there, that is a later model. So therefore, you got to make sure you have the latest and greatest. As a matter of fact, when we reflash the power stroke six seven, they ask us if we have the updated box here. So therefore, make a note of that here. Okay. So just for a quick tip, check your oil pan, check your bolts, make sure you got a leak. And if your truck is over 100,000 miles, it is a wise idea to actually order these. Um, I tried to order one two weeks ago. They're on back order, but uh, I don't know if they're still on national back order, but you may want to inquire with your Ford dealer. Okay, thought I mentioned that. Uh, once again, we'll talk later about other stuff with PowerStroke 6.7, but in the meantime, thanks for watching.